looking at now the Swiss franc. And the Swiss franc, they ended up cutting rates today. Um, so it wasn't the big 50 basis points uh, that the market had potentially been pricing in. It was 25 basis points. One of the reasons why I think it was probably likely to be 25 basis points, um, well, not likely, but um, they held it at 25 basis points, is more because of the fact that if they cut big, then they have less um, uh, cuts um, remaining, right? So what I mean by that is this. At the moment, or previously before the cut, interest rates were at 1.25%. Yeah. So one of the two ways that central banks, or one of the three ways, I guess, um, that central banks can try to influence a currency is by interest rates. Yeah, they can do something called quantitative easing or quantitative tightening, so QE or QT, right, QE stroke T, or they can just do what is known as intervention, which is um, what the Swiss franc uh, and the Swiss National Bank uh, typically do, right? They tend to intervene into their currencies so they will just literally go out and buy their currency or sell their currency, right, and intervene in the markets, to try to influence uh, the strength of their currency. And so the reason why they, why I think the reason why they didn't cut by 50 basis points, because if they did, yeah, then that would mean that the interest rates would be at 75 basis points, right? Or 0 0.75, I should say, sorry. 0.75%. Now, if, for example, the infl let's say for example their next inflation data comes out right, and it's let's say I don't know it's one point one percent at the moment, yeah, and let's say for example inflation goes down to I don't know it goes down to zero point nine percent, yeah, after the fifty basis point cut because remember that cuts lag. Yeah, and it takes a time for the actual cut to take effect on uh, on inflation, right? So if they cut by 50 basis points, but it doesn't really do anything to inflation, let's say inflation stays at 1.1%, let's just say, right? It doesn't have the desired effect because ultimately by cutting, what they want to do is get, their, and get inflation back to their 2% target, right? That's what they want to do. They want to weaken their currency so that it goes, inflation goes rises back up to their 2% target. If it stays the same or maybe goes a bit lower after a 50 basis point cut, yeah, then they have less ammo in the chamber. You've got to think about, you know, basically interest rate cuts are like bullets or like ammo in a gun, right? And if you, you know, if you shoot, empty your, your clip and you've got no more ammo left, then you have to kind of resort to extreme measures and possibly even negative interest rates, which is going to be very problematic. You know, Japan were in negative interest rates for uh, a very long time and it was very problematic, right? They were in maybe negative interest rates for maybe been nearly a decade, I think, or something like that, maybe 2015, I think, 2016. I don't know, maybe I, I might be wrong about that, but um, it's been it's been definitely a, 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 a quite a number of years. But um, but ultimately, um, central banks try to avoid negative interest rates, right? And so um, they avoided 50 basis points and went for 25 basis point cut today because they can basically keep some rate cuts ready, right? So now they're at 1%, yeah, 1% interest rate. And let's say, for example, you know, they can observe now what inflation is going to do and when the data comes out. And if it does go lower, then guess what? They've got a little bit more rate cuts that they can do before they reach negative. Yeah, because at the moment, now that it's a zero, they've only really got maybe about four more chances before they get to zero negative rates or you know zero yeah zero rates or, or negative rates do you know what i mean so they've only got four more uh 25 basis point cut right chances 
in order to get inflation back up to their two percent target. So why blow, you know, why blow their load basically uh, for um, for fifty basis points when they can just do twenty five and then just have a look? They probably would have gone for fifty basis points, like the Federal Reserve. But the Federal Reserve, remember, they're at something like five. They were at five point five percent, something like that, right? The Fed. So they can afford to cut by fifty basis points because they've got plenty of, you know, interest rates to cut before they even reach zero, or you know, somewhere around a negative. Does that make sense, guys? Does that all make sense? Just making sure everyone's following. Yep, 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 yep. So, in my opinion, that's the reason why they uh, they cut by twenty five rather than fifty. But let's uh, just continue on with the analysis. Um, so, the Swiss National Bank is likely to continue with longest easing path, according to its incoming president Martin Sch- uh, Schlegel. Right. So, I think Thomas Jordan, who was the previous um, uh, governor, is on his way out, and Martin Schlegel is the is the new governor. Uh, we will have to, an assessment in December again, but the current junction, uh, from the current junction, it looks like it is likely that further cuts could follow. So again, they're just going to wait for inflation data to come out, see what the situation is with the economy, and then continue potentially on their cutting cycle, we told Bloomberg Television. And remember, it's by the rumour, right? That's that's what we're trying to do. We're, we're, we're looking at the rumour. And uh, if a central banker says that, you know, cuts could follow and the market believes that, then that's where the money is made. Right. Uh, But there's no pre commitment to that. Right. So that's another caveat, an important caveat. Right. So not pre committing to it. So they're not saying, yep, we're definitely going to be cutting. So, again, it's probably going to be data dependent which could support the um, the Swiss franc in definitely in the short term. Uh, Asked about uh, the central bank uh, policy arsenal, Schlegel stressed that the current levels given the SMB some room to do more. We also do not exclude any policy measure at the current junction when prompted on negative interest rates, which the SMB already embraced between 2015 and 2022. So they were negative interest rates. Uh, for now, the SMB is likely to exhaust its remaining rate cut space, right? What we were talking about. So they want to exhaust that, the bullets in the chamber, before switching to FX interventions, said Christian Schultz, an economist at Citigroup. So I guess, again, FX interventions were one of the uh, ways that central banks have uh, to um, influence a currency's appreciation or devaluation. So he's saying that they want to do rate cuts first before even looking at any kind of intervention, right? Um, We still expect that the SMB will at some point have to switch to FX interventions to manage the exchange rate, yeah, so FX interventions to manage the, the currency strength or weakness uh, as it cannot outcut other central banks. Basically, what I was talking about can't outcut other banks because they had a low interest rate just to, at the moment uh, and will have to accept shrinking interest rate differentials eventually. So shrinking dif- interest rate differentials are the fact that they're going to be you know, closer to zero than a lot of other central banks right other central banks are higher so again for me if we're even looking at again the carry trade where you've where you're buying a currency that has a higher interest rate yeah like for example even something like the dollar right or you know better yet the australian dollar or the pound right over the swiss franc why would you actually i've got i'm going to take that off as well um why would you buy the um why would you buy the Swiss franc, right? You're better off just selling, um, at least because on that carry trade idea, you've still got a higher interest rate from the Australian dollar and the uh, and the pound. So 